Hi guys, Pizza here. In this video, we'll have a quick look at sync converter in White Star Airship. As always, feel free to adjust anything depending on the affix, or if you have a better item or card option available in your account. And with that said, now let's get into it. First, for stat allocation. Consume meal bees and awakening pots first, so you know how much agi you will allocate, just enough to reach 480% attack speed, then enough dex to remove the casting time of some skills, and then max vit and int for more survivability and healing. Now for the skills. We will need Magnus, so we can convert the mobs faster. As for Suffragium, make sure that Sacrifice Ode is on for the 24% cooldown reduction. As for Exhort, this skill is the key to converting the mobs to Dark Element, so always remember to cast Magnus, while auto-attacking to make sure that the mobs are always converted to Dark. I also put a ratio because of Silent Prayer Rune, which automatically uses a ratio during auto-attack, and also to increase the holy damage taken of the mobs. Another skill that we'll be needing is Pain Release. Because of its passive skill, which is under Pain Release, target's damage and magic damage reduct are reduced by 20%. As for Prepare for Elite, I have Blessing, Impo, Asump, Sufra, Batter's Crown, Ode of Hope, and then Angelus. As for my manual skill slot, I only have two tabs. For the first tab I have Faith Prey, Pain Release, Kyrie, Kalushio, Magnus, and then Auto Attack. For the second tab, I have First Aid, just if it's Archangeling, and then Batter's Aria, Resurrection, Slow Poison, which is useful if it's Poison Affix, and then Song and Prepare for Elite. Now for the runes. Equip all the blue and yellow attribute runes that will give you more survivability. And then for the S and Star runes, just adjust anything depending on the affix, or if you need more survivability, just use the other runes that will give you more sustain. I just tailored this depending on my current build. As for the Arcane Rune, I equip the runes that will give more damage reductions. As for the equipments, we'll just discuss the key items that you will need as a Saint Converter in Airship. So for offhand, armor, garment, shoes, and accessories, just equip all the items and cards that will give you more survivability. Now for the key items to make the MVPs receive more damage. You will need plus 15 Hammer of Solemn, so that Lexaderna will be replaced by Enemy units will now take 100% more damage, up to maximum of 6 times with its Tier 5, inlaid with Owlbear and Star card to make sure that the Lex is always up, and then Mutant Dragon Star card for minus 15% damage reduction. Another option is Kaho Star card for additional stack of burn. For the Accessory card, which is only optional, Che Pet Star card for another minus 5% damage reduction. Pouring Sleepy Hat just for safety measure, so you won't suddenly die if your Anti-Fatal is on cooldown. Must be inlaid with Nightmare card, so the sleep effect of the headgear will not proc. Another option is Orchestra Rising Star, inlaid with White Bait card, just if the affix is SP Drain. Dancing Flame for burn effect stack. Another option is Unexpected Damage, or Meow Wave for additional damage received of the MVP. Magic Firewood for burn effect stack, because burn boosts the damage of Ronin. Chicken Axe to increase damage taken of MVP by a maximum of 10%. Another option is Rathgracy Fallen Feather, for additional chance to trigger Lex. And then Sweet Bee, for the minus 3% damage reduction when attacking. As for the Shadow Equipment, equip all utility items for more survivability. Because Sane in Airship is a very important role, you need to consistently convert the MVP, while looking out for your DPS and other party members as well. So do your Saints a favor, Sustain yourselves with Yggdrasil Berry or White Flower Stamen, and make sure to eat anti-fatal foods before the run starts. Now proceeding to Airship Run, this week's affix is Reinforce and Senile, which is why I equipped Elf's Piccolo Relic. Before starting, make sure to consume 6 pieces of Prancha Royal Salad, for the anti-fatal, and then Meal Bees and Awakening Pots. Then cast Prepare for Elite for the buffs, followed by Song. Select the MVP for Auto and then cast Magnus at the MVP's location to convert them to Dark Element. Rebuff Prepare for Elite from time to time for the Sufra to your DPS.
As for Wolf Grandma, make sure to cast Faith Prey to your DPS before the MVP uses reflect. They said after the MVP uses intimidate. By the way, don't just rely on your heal. Also use pots to sustain yourself as well. Overall just make sure that the MVP is always converted through auto attack and Magnus. Then always rebuff prepare for elite for the DPS consistent damage. And then faith prey to either DPS or tank if necessary. And that's all for this video guys. Don't forget to give a like or subscribe to stay tuned for more of our airship series featuring utility classes. See you guys again next time and thank you for watching.